The book of Romans chapter 2. This is the, the problem that Paul had with the, with the Israelites during this time period. They was walk around like they was better than all the Israelites because they was going to Jerusalem three times a year. They was, they was born and raised in the laws of God and they had the temple, primarily the southern kingdom, the tribe of Judah, so-called African-Americans today, the tribe of Benjamin, that's the West Indians today, and the tribe of Levi, the so-called Haitians today. The southern kingdom, they stayed with God all throughout the Bible, when you read the history. The northern, the other ten tribes, the so-called Mexicans, Issachar, uh, Puerto Ricans, Ephraim, or down, they tended to stray away a little further. But the point is, Paul was saying that all have sinned, so because you was, you was raised in the, in the customs of your forefathers, that will make you better than the Israelites that weren't keeping God's laws. Because neither one of you keeping God's laws. That's right. the point that Paul's saying. Read what you got for him. Behold, thou art called. Call me read it so they know where you at. The book of Romans chapter 2 verse 17. Romans Behold. chapter 2 verse 17. Come on. Behold, thou art called a Jew. You see that? Behold, thou art called the Jew. You from the tribe of Judah. Right? You the southern kingdom of Israel. Read. And restest in the law. And you was resting in the law. You was in the law from the time that you was born, right? Just like you, you said that your, your people's from the morning, the morning Israel, right? You say your mother was born in the morning Israel. In order for your mother to be born in the morning Israel, that means that somebody had to know what the what the word of God said to uproot their lives and move to the morning Israel. Right. I Meaning they knew God's laws, right? So your mother was born in God's laws. Your mother was born knowing she was a Jew, right? And it's many of our people that's like that. Come on. And As make it, huh? and make it stop boast of God. But the problem was these, these guys are walking around making a boast in God. I'm better than you. You know how Israel is. I'm better than you. I got more money than you. I was born in the temple. I was, uh, you know, Jacob will be lying and saying I was born in the temple. I was, you know, you know our people. It's the same spirit back on the earth today. Read. Verse 18. Uh-huh. And knows his will and approves the things that are more excellent. They knew God's will. And they approve us the things that are more excellent, meaning God's laws are more excellent. Read the any doctrine on the face of the earth. Being instructed out of the law. Uh-huh, because they was instructed out of the law. Read. And are confident uh -huh. that thou thyself art a God of the blind. See that? They were confident that they were the gods of the blind. They was walking around the Roman uh, uh, Empire at that time, which we are in the Roman Empire at this time. Right. But they was teaching the laws of God. Read. A light of them which are in darkness. Come on. An instructor of the foolish. See that they were an instructor of the foolish, those who didn't know nothing. Read. A teacher of faith. Uh-huh. Which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Okay, but here's the problem. Here's the problem that we, that we touched on that Romans 2 and 27 through 29 is touching on. Read. Verse 21. Come on. Thou, therefore, which teaches another Teach thou not thyself. Stop. What is Paul talking about? He said, you teach another. He said, are you not teaching yourself? Bring it out. What is Paul addressing? He's addressing, he's addressing hypocrisy. That's, That's what right. Romans 2 was talking about. He's addressing the hypocrisy. He said, if you're going to teach another, you should be teaching yourself. Right? If I'm going to tell you to keep God's laws, I should be keeping God's laws. Right? If I'm telling you not to commit adultery, I'm committing adultery. Am I, am I any better than you? Should I be in a position to be teaching you anything? Absolutely not, right? I got to practice what I pre preach before I pre come out here and preach it to you. Teach. Read. Thou that preaches a man should not steal, doest thou steal. You see that? Paul said, you out here teaching that a man should not steal. He said, you out here stealing? That's like me coming out here on Sunday night telling my people keep God's laws, and I'm out here stealing out of uh, CVS and Walgreens. Right. And yeah. Falcon Fuel. Come on, man. I'm a hypocrite. Teach. That's what Paul's addressing. Hypocrisy. Read. Verse 22. Uh huh. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, doest thou commit adultery? You see that? It says, You teach that a man should not commit adultery, but behind closed doors at the ranch, you stepping out on your wife, your old lady. Teach. You committing adultery. That's what the Jews was doing. They were being hypocrites. You know who fits that today? Many of these pastors in these Christian churches Bring it up. that set up throughout the land. They want to act like they so righteous and collect your tithes. But meanwhile, behind the, the uh, closed doors, they're doing just as much dirt or even more dirt than they uh, attendees. Bring it out. Than the congregation that they are uh, supposed to be teaching. That's the same spirit. Read. 
thou that abhorrest idols. Uh -huh. So you, Paul said, man, you a Jew, you hate idols. Read. Dost thou commit sacrilege? Sacrilege. You know what sacrilege is? It's idolatry. Right? Because our people worship money. They worship booty. A woman. Shit. Oh, uh, shoot. Excuse me. They worship uh, cars. Shoes. Right? But you say, now, hold on. You, you, you love God. Read. And these are just examples. Come on. Thou that makest thy boast of the law. You make your boast in the law. Read. Through breaking the law dishonorest thou God. How, the, how are you going to make your boast in the law, but through breaking the law, you dishonor God? Read it. So do you understand what, why he's making the same, certain statements that he's making? Read. For, for the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you uh -huh. as it is written. You see that? Paul is saying, listen, by the way you Jews are carrying yourself, y'all are blaspheming the name of God throughout the land, throughout the Gentiles. Now, hold that. Uh, matter of fact, read on, read on, read on. For circumcision barely profiteth if thou keep the law. Circumcision will only profit you if you keep the law. You can't be circumcised under the covenant of Abraham and you and you disobeying God's laws. Bring it up. What's the pur purpose? What's the purpose? You're still going to die when the Messiah come back and judge the, uh, the world in the second coming. You out here being a hypocrite, not keeping God's laws, you know better than those who don't know nothing. Now jump to verse 27. The book of Romans chapter 2. 28, 28, that's what he asked. That's the question. What's your name? Angelo. Angelo. I like you, Angelo, man. You're very intelligent. You know the Bible. Come on. For he is not a Jew. So now he's going down and making the point that he is not a what? Not a Jew. Uh-huh. Which is what outwardly. You're not a Jew just because you look like one. Just because you was born with the blood that, that goes through your veins might be of the Jews. Which we know today is our people. Them, them either them uh, Caucasians over there in the land of Israel, they are not the real Jews. That's right. Them Edomites, they, they are not the uh, the real Jews. Right. right. You understand me? Those are the Gentiles you read about in Luke 21. That they time going to be fulfilled and we're going to go back to that land. Right. The real Jews look like the Africans when you read the Bible. Read. Neither is that circumcision. Uh -huh. Neither is that circumcision because who was given the law of circumcision? The, the children of Abraham were, the Jews were. That's Read. right. Which is outward in the uh -huh. flesh. Just because you circumcise the flesh of your, your rod, that don't mean that you circumcise. Because you could be doing that and you could be like Judas Iscariot. Remember, Judas Iscariot was a thief. Right. And he betrayed the Son of God. But he was a Jew. He was circumcised. Right. What about uh, the Pharisees? They were Jews. They were circumcised, but they was doing all type of evil. Right? What about um, Ahab? He was a Jew. He was circumcised. But Ahab was a wicked king. Bring it out. You got King Manasseh. He lay, he repented later on. Teach. You got a whole lot of examples in the Bible of our forefathers. They were Jews circumcised, but they were doing all manner of evil. Right. Killing people. Committing adultery. Dealing with whores. I think I understand what you're saying. So he's saying that the, 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 the circumcision is not, not what makes you a Jew. It's that when you follow the law, then your heart is circumcised. So, you know, you got to follow God's laws, but in the law, it does say to be circumcised. Give me that in Genesis 17. Because I don't want you to think that you don't got to be circumcised. You do. But you can't be walking around here saying, I'm circumcised, and you the damn devil. And you think that you're better than everybody else. Teach. That's all Paul was addressing. Now, the Christian church, they take that, and they twist that into some type of demonic white Jesus doctrine. That you the slave, I'm the master. Go pick my cotton, nigga. But the Bible don't say that. Come on. The book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 10. Uh -huh. you know, this is my covenant. That's why Christianity can't stand against us. You understand me? That's why they, they hiring uh, Christian scholars, quote unquote, to try to combat the Israelites. Because they cannot stand against the wisdom that is coming out of this book. Because they know that they killed, murdered our people uh, throughout the earth. Slaughtered 77 million Native American Indians on this land alone. Bring it up. A hundred million of us died through uh, uh, the, the, the Middle Passage from Africa over here to the Americas. You want to kill, 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 and then after that, you want to set up churches and teach people about God. Right. And the Israelites, the God, the Most High God is raising up the Israelites to reveal they wicked behind, and they can't stand up. They can't stand against us. Bring it up. Know the understanding, the correct understanding that we're coming with. Genesis 17. This is my covenant. Uh-huh. Who is he talking to? Jump to verse 1. 
the book of Genesis, chapter 1, uh -huh. chapter 17, verse 1. Verse 1. Yep. Take your time. And when April, Who? who's April? Who is April? April is Abraham. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. Abraham is our father. Read. Now jump down to where we was at in verse 10. The book of Genesis chapter So the Lord 17. spoke unto Abram before he was turned to Abraham and said what? Verse 10. Uh -huh. This is my covenant uh -huh. which he shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. You see that? That seed of Abraham was not talking about the Arabians because the Arabians are the seed of Abraham, the Ishmaelites. But that covenant was not talking about them. The Midianites are the seed of Abraham, but that covenant ain't talking about them. That seed is talking about the 12 tribes of Israel, the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. right. You understand me? Because the Caucasians technically descend from Abraham. The Arabians uh, ascend from Abraham. Teach. But he's not talking about them. That's right. He's talking about the people later on to be known as Jews. And later on in these last days to be known as blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. So, 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 uh, Absolutely. Esau is the Caucasian race. When he said that in Malachi and in Romans that Jacob he loved and Esau he hated, meaning God don't like the uh, Caucasian. He don't like, he don't like none of the nations. But he, he was specifically talking about them. So Alright, but real quick before you go, give me numbers uh 1538. Because remember, you know do you know you're an Israelite, you gotta be keeping God's laws. I see you got the beard on your face, that's good. First Corinthians 11. Uh-huh. But give me that in, in uh numbers real quick. The book of Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. That's who we are. Speak unto the children of Israel. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Now that's the garments that you're teaching. See that fringes? Also your regular clothes. Fringes. Where your fringes at, bro? Huh? You gotta, you gotta be representing. You gotta be keeping guys low. To scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.